So Rock Pal was nice enough to send me two 100 watt solar panels. Now these are their new ones. If you watch my old video where I talked about the Rock Pal power station, you saw a solar panel in that video. These ones are upgraded from that one. And so what I wanna do in this video is I'm gonna go inside where I can show you close-ups of all the features of the solar panel. And then I'm gonna come back outside where I will show you those features in action. And then at the end of the video, I will give you my final thoughts. So let's jump inside and I will show you what these solar panels have to offer. All right, so now that we're inside and we have good lighting here, I can show you the solar panel and what comes with it. Uh, first things first, let's look at the back here. It has a pouch to store everything that comes with it. And what comes with it is a splitter so that you can hook two solar panels up together and charge your device with 200 watts instead of the 100 watt on a single panel. It comes with a charging cable. So this has four different cables coming off of it one of which is for the Rock Pal power station, one is for a Jackery power station, and then I have no idea what the other two are. I'm gonna have to put an image on the screen showing you the different capabilities that this thing has for charging. And then it has a large cable with a, with a connector on it so that you can charge your power stations or other devices with the included adapter and then inside it has a USB A and a USB C input so you can charge your phone you can charge your GoPro you can charge your cameras you can charge anything that comes with a USB cable or a USB C cable to charge your devices you can plug directly into the solar panel and so that you're not, you don't need a secondary power source. You can just use the solar panel by itself. So if this is all you have is just this solar panel, you can still charge a lot of devices. A lot of things use USB-C or USB, have some sort of USB cable. And so you can use this independently. You don't have to hook it up to a power station. And so I think that's really cool. Uh, the other thing you see on the back here is a kickstand and so it has webbing and velcro closure and so we'll talk about that when I'm explaining the features up top here you have a very nice robust carry handle that I really enjoy using it's comfortable it makes it a lot easier to carry it doesn't dig into my hand or anything it's a big robust nice heavy duty handle uh, and then the front here you can see you have two grommets and you have a velcro Closure. It's a very, very strong Velcro closure. And then you have the solar panel itself. When you open it up, you have another kickstand. And that is it. Two kickstands. I have it upside down here. Two kickstands. Two kickstands. One on each side here. Fold open so that you can set it down and then you can have it angled so that you get the maximum amount of sun onto the solar panel and then you have a storage pouch you have a nice handle and so let's get back outside and I can show you these features as they're being used all right so you can see that I have a solar panel all set up one of the things that I want to show you is this flap here. It does get in the way. And so you're going to want to move that so that it doesn't block that last solar panel. It's really going to help a lot when it comes to collecting the sun. And then you can see here that I have it set up with the kickstands to angle it towards the sun. So yeah, it's a pretty decent setup. So I just wanted to show you one that's all set up, ready to go. And now I will show you the next one and I will set that one up on camera. All right, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. It's hard to film at high noon when the sun's the strongest, 
uh, because the camera can't pick up this amount of light. But hopefully you can see, all I'm going to do here is I'm going to first pull out the cords that I need because it's hard to do it after the fact. And so pull all the cords out and then I'm going to re-zip this. Now the grass is a little wet, but I'm not concerned because this is IPX4 water resistant. It is not waterproof. You don't want to submerge it, but it does have some water resistance. So I'm going to kick out one of the kickstands. That'll help me manage everything. And open the flap. And then you can see the next kickstand. I'm going to pull that out. And there you have it. And then I can easily pick this up by the kickstands, move it into place. And so you can see the setup is extremely easy. I thought the kickstands were going to be a little flimsy because it's just webbing, but I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. It's extremely easy to set this thing up and angle it towards the sun. So now let's get the cords. I'm going to go grab the Jackery and we will look at the numbers as I plug in each one of these solar panels. All right, so now that you have seen me set them up, you've seen the features, now it's time to show you the numbers. So I have a Jackery 500 watt power station. Rockpal sent me this for free, I did not pay for it. The reason they sent it to me is because it has a input display so you can see how much power is going into it. It's important to remind you that the Jackery can only handle 90 watts input. Uh, the higher, the Jackery 1000, the Blue Eddy 1200, those can handle a lot more wattage, but even though this is a 100 watt solar panel and putting them together, you could get 200 watts, we're not gonna see those numbers because it just isn't possible with this unit. But let's hook up the left and the right. This is the right, this is the left. I know it's opposite to you, but it's easier for me. So we're gonna hook up the left one. And if you look at the display, you can see that we're getting 65 watts. Check to make sure I'm recording. So 60, 66 watts, All right? So that's really good readings, especially from a single solar panel. If I hook up the right one, You can see that we're getting, again, 65, 66 watts. And so when I put these together, because it's such a high wattage, the difference isn't going to be very high, again, because it's protecting the Jackery. So if I hook up the right solar panel and the left solar panel, I get 70 watts. And that's where it tops off. It tops off at 70 watts because again, it's trying to protect the Jackery. And so even though it is a five watt difference, a four or five watt difference, the having the two panels, they're trying to protect the Jackery. So it's not gonna go above 70. On a single panel, I have gotten all the way up to 74. But again, I'm in the middle of a field uh, charging so I have full sun there's no trees blocking anything the advantage of having the two solar panels are if you are in the woods if you are in an area where there is shade where their sun is inconsistent and you're only getting 35 watts per solar panel you can put them together and get 70. Uh, again that's a limitation to the jackery it's not a limitation to the panels uh, so that's something to keep in mind. The other advantage to having both panels is if you have the Jackery 1000 or the Blue Eddy 1200 watt, the larger solar generators, those are going to have a higher input uh, cap. And so if you have the bigger solar generators, if you have bigger devices that need a lot more power, that's where having these comes in handy. If you don't, uh, I would suggest just getting the one. Uh, one is plenty if you're going to be in open areas, if you're going to be in open spaces. Uh, again, getting 75 watts on a single panel is huge. But if you're going to be in the deeper woods, if you're going to be in a more shaded area, uh, you might want to consider getting two just so that you always have the maximum amount of input you can. 
So that is that. When it comes to my final thoughts, let's go on the porch there and I will show you what I think of these solar panels. All right, so really quick before I pack up here, I wanna show you that I have a USB-C to USB-C connection. So I'm going to hook up the USB-C directly into the solar panel. And then I'm going to hook up my phone Get the dog hair out of my import. And you can see that it is charging my device. It's currently at 63%. It is Thursday, August 27th. So I'm getting down to the wire because this has to go up on Sunday. But I wanted to show you that you don't need a power station. You don't need anything. If you just have the solar panel itself, you can charge your phone, you can charge your camera, anything that hooks up with USB-C or USB-A, you can charge straight from the solar panel. You don't need anything else. So even if you have an anchor battery pack, you can charge the anchor battery pack with the solar panel. You don't need anything fancy. As long as you have the solar panel, you can charge a lot of different things. So now let's get to the patio where I can show you, where I can talk about my final thoughts. All right, so my final thoughts, I like it a lot. I'm going to show you me setting it up after the final thoughts, or not setting it up, I already showed you that, but taking it down. The reason for that is because that's the first thing I wanna talk about. This thing is so easy to set up, so easy to tear down. It is crazy how simple it is. When I first received this and I saw this webbing here, uh, I thought that that was gonna be a pain because it's gonna be loose and everything. It has not been an issue whatsoever. And when you're putting it away, as long as you have a finger in it, it goes away very easy. The connections, I like these connections a lot, a lot, a lot. The other panel was very difficult to get apart. This one, you just plug in, red on red, black on black, and unplug. It's super easy to change things out. I can plug in whatever I need to plug in fast and easy. I like these plugs a lot. And if you look at some of the newer power stations, a lot of them have this plug as the input. So you can just plug this directly into your power station and you don't have to worry about the accessories. And so I like that a lot. I like the plugs. I like how easy it is to set up and tear down. I like the kickstand. I like being able to angle it. It does make a difference. Uh, when I was testing this and using it before making this video, uh, I thought it wouldn't make a difference. I thought that, you know, as long as it was in the sun, it would work. And I was getting big differences just by having that kickstand and having that little bit of an angle to angle it towards the sun. It does make a big difference. So I am happy that they included those. The that's not that heavy either. You would think that this was like super heavy, but it's not. I can pick up this whole system with my pinky. Uh, it's not that heavy at all. Uh, you can use it to charge your phone. You can use it just as is, or again, it's a great addition to a power station. And if you have two of them, you're guaranteed a lot of input. Even when the clouds roll in, even if you're in the woods, uh, I would recommend it. They're about, I don't know the exact price, but they're around $250. I will leave a link in the description box down below. You don't have to buy what I link to. You can buy whatever you want. I still get credit for it, but I link the product so that you can research them and make sure that you're getting the correct one. RockPal has two different 100 watt solar panels. They have the old version and this is the new version. I like the new version better than the old version. If you'd like to see a comparison video, leave it in the comments section and I will do my best to make sure to make that video for you guys where I compare this one to the old one. And the old one is still available. It's a little bit cheaper, not by much if I remember correct. But if you want the comparison, leave it in the comments section and I can't wait to see you on my next video. Darn mosquitoes are biting me everywhere. But, yep, I'll, let's take it apart. All right, so. We're going from the Jackery being charged. So it's being charged. I'm going to unplug it, unplug it, wrap this up. 
wrap this up, set it aside. One, two, use a finger, three, Velcro it shut, flip it over, use a finger, open this, wrap this up real quick. Stuff it in the pouch. Take your cords, stuff them in the pouch. Not much to talk about, it's just done.